Here's another video for those of you who are interested in history and, of course, home building. A mail order house, something you could purchase for under $500 and have delivered to your property. Now, the first thing I want to point out here is that this is the cash discount. The original price is $522 if you're going to finance it. And uh, I never imagine the financing you're going to um, uh, get additional costs from the interest on that. So $590 or $595.90. I don't know why they couldn't round that off. Modern day uh, today, that probably would have been 99 cents. And uh, uh, it probably would have been $499.99 also. And um, they required 25% down and the rest upon delivery, COD. So that was kind of their terms. I did a little bit of um, reading. This came out of a book that I found, and I've been doing a lot of uh, research on historic home building or how things were built um, far back in time, as far back as uh, I can get, which is about 1600, I believe is around the first um, book. If you can imagine the printing press, press was invented in the 1400s so they would have had books but uh, how many books they would have had on home building um, like i said the oldest one i think i found was back in the 1600s if you've done some research and found some older homes i'd love to hear about that and so back on this one here a two-story house this would have included everything you needed except for the building foundation plumbing, electrical, and I couldn't find anywhere where it said you would have got finished flooring, but that could have been part of the subflooring. I noticed a lot of homes back then were built without an interior finish, which would have meant no interior lath, plaster, or drywall kind of a thing. I mean, I've seen some of these homes where the people actually put newspaper they cover the wall with newspaper and I know a lot of people are probably thinking whoa they must have been interested in reading the um, paper to put it on the wall a lot of times it was be it was to keep the air out so people would even put carpeting on the um, floor to keep the air out when I say carpeting this would be um, rugs you could just throw down not uh, having a carpet guy come out and install it in your home so something else I wanted to point out about this one here Let's go back to here. You know, here we have a picture, and I kind of was trying to figure out if these were um, photographs or a drawing, because I've seen them done either way. Um, but you can see this one here has an addition on the back of it. So if we were to count the windows on the sides, one, two, three, we actually have a fourth window with a different roof. So this actually looks like a home that someone did, obviously did build and, and was photographed. So you know, I'm sure it was, a, you know, this thing was within reason to, um, you know, uh, people could have built it. You know, whether you needed to hire a professional or you could have done it on your own, um, that would be debated. And the inside of the house, porch, living room. And, of course, you can see a lot of this um, stuff where they have deceptive advertising, you know, 16 by 10. Now that's the whole room, including the stairway, you know, eight by 10 rooms, uh, very small, Six, 16 by 10. This probably could have been split up into two rooms um, back then, and but that wouldn't have been too difficult to do. You just would have had to have moved the window. And obviously this is a small window for um, this size room here. We got one window here and two in, two in the front here in a smaller smaller room. And then you got to go through the one room to get into the other room. And again, these, you know, here we live in a time where we got bathrooms, uh, our kitchens have cabinets, we have closets, all this. This was stuff back then was just bare minimum um, stuff. I don't think they really got into um, building homes with bathrooms and electricity until uh, after the 1930s and of course building codes too you know some of these building code books i found some older building code books but more or less not until the 1950s kind of a thing so a lot of people were just getting a house you know they would just build a house as they wanted to and you might actually live in one of these homes that were built a long time ago now in this one here i'm going to this 450 dollars 
I actually drew it out. I took this plan here. There were two plans you could choose from, this one or this one. And uh, I went ahead and just kind of drew it out. I didn't draw the fireplace in. But I did notice with these is the fireplace, it's like, where is it located? You know, if we come back here, the fireplace is here. Um, is it is it actually in the back bedroom or is this a reverse? You know, we have the, uh, well, we don't. We have two windows on this side. Kitchen's over here, but the fireplace is over here. So uh, some of these, um, you can tell it's the drawing. The other one we were looking at was a photograph, but the fireplace, it was still in the kitchen. And uh, 1916, that might have been um, exactly where it needed to be. But, you know, you think about a fireplace today being in a living room or a di not a dining room, a family room, something like that, or a bonus room even. And uh, it's not heating the whole house. You've got a central air conditioning system to heat it. Um, back here, this is how these houses were heated by the fireplace. So did everybody just go and hang out in the kitchen? And they probably did. You know, for, for all I know. So here's here's this one here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at it in a way where I can provide you with a little more detail. So I went ahead and drew it out in one of my programs. If you notice here, we got 535 square feet, and that doesn't include the porch. And, uh, I you know, if you just kind of measure everything out here, um, 8 by 10, we got 80 square feet. We have six units basically except for here where we're a little bit larger and um, that would be about 480 square feet so um, I'm guessing they're including the walls in there let's just go ahead and get a close-up in here come up the porch front door a couple of windows uh, an entry without any doors coming in the dining room the kitchen I believe on our plans this had a swinging door the door would have swung in either direction Bedrooms, no closets, no bathrooms, no cabinets, and a stairway coming um, from the back and the front of the house. And a view from the outside here. A couple of windows, door going into the kitchen, living room window. And again, you know, you kind of see where this window probably would have been bigger. Bedroom, and then a bedroom window here. And then, of course, a place where you could tie your horse up to, right? You got to have that. Now let's go ahead and take the roof off. Get an idea here. Front door. Come into the bedroom. No closets, obviously. Come into this room. Window. Dining room and kitchen. And then out of the house. So not a bad looking home there for under $500. Let's go ahead and go to our next one, the Chester, $468.35 cash discount, bedroom, kitchen, bedroom, dining room. We do have rooms that are a little larger here. Instead of eight by 10, we have nine by 10 rooms, nine by 10 kitchen, and a little layout here, which I'll provide you with a picture of that here in a few seconds the foundation some blocks obviously this could actually be concrete but a lot of a lot of times they just built them with bricks you just had a brick foundation they didn't know about uh, how um, sturdy it would have been for or how much of a problem it would have been for earthquakes of course we had gutters back then too the floor plan here porch living room Dining room into the kitchen. Here's the swinging door closets, which of course these are just pieces of furniture. Now let's go ahead and take a little tour of this area, our porch. We've cut the house in half here. This is a um, uh, historical section of the home or the way they would have did it years ago. And you kind of see here the living room. It's not set up for the big screen TV, obviously and uh, piano with some chairs and of course we don't have a fireplace in here you know like i said they draw the fireplaces in and then they don't show them on some of this stuff no biggie looks good on the outside or if it was a photograph and the fireplace is part of the picture it just wasn't provided with the original materials you're going to get for under 500 dollars bedroom um, the other bedroom kitchen 
dining room. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our next one. The Schloen, I guess that's what that is. $318.25. Come on, you can't beat this thing here. You get one bedroom, kitchen, dining room, living room. And of course they have a different plan down here. And of course we have our little section we can go through. The outside of the house. Now they do have shingles on this. I did notice that uh, you could actually order the shingles, uh, but I think it was going to cost a little more. Otherwise, the house was going to come with basically like a one by eight lap siding is what it looked like. Again, our fireplace here. If we take a look at where it's going to be located at, we have two windows, the front of the house. Fireplace would have been in the kitchen over here somewhere. So it would have been on the outside. Let's just go back and take a look at that. So it's on the inside of the house. Probably would have been better for them to put it on the outside of the house to get a little more room in the kitchen. So this one here, a door going into the dining room, into the kitchen. And with a small house like this, you really wouldn't have to worry about, you know, all your doors being laid out and stuff like that. Um, hey, wait a minute, this, this door would have been better if it was moved over here, stuff like that. You're not talking about a... Um, 4,000 square foot home where the doors and the um, access to some of these areas like the kitchen is going to be important. And the other drawing there. And of course, the trying to make it look like it's super awesome here without our fireplace hogging up this whole corner, of course. And then, of course, we go through the door into the dining room, another door into the living room and another door into the bedroom and if you can kind of get an idea here about heating this house up you've got a fireplace over here let's say and you have three doors that are going to be shut how's the heat going to get in here so probably going to have to leave some of these doors open and this one here might not even be necessary what would you need the door going into this other room and i do need to point out that a long time ago they would actually sell a house like this as a four room house. So if you had a, um, if you had this, this didn't have a door here and, or a wall, this would only be a three room house and might not sell as easy. So this brings us to the end of the video. Any comments, leave them in the comment area. Questions, leave them in the comment area or email them to me. I will answer them as soon as possible. And you know what to do. You like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Let us know. That's a good way to let us know that uh, these videos, you want to see more of them in the future.